Okay, grippers. I was curious about our um, attempt to use Usenet last night, and so I was curious enough to download it to my computer here at work so I could play with it. And so I have here started the Usenet that I downloaded, and there were some um, installation exercises to check that you could run when you download it so that you could check to make sure that you had downloaded it properly. And so one of the first things they ask you to do is click on this D, which is the display button. And when you click on the D, you, the display button, um, there are some um, trial or sample data in this folder here. And the one that we want to go and look at um, is the Paget, and you can see it has that same file extension, the pound pound h, that Sylvia had generated uh, last night when we were playing with it. And if we click open, the data then is presented like this, and uh, it generates this file inside Usenet. Uh, what it does additionally is it creates another file that has a different um, name from the pound pound dot h, and that's the file that um, we'll be using next. So this opened in Note WordPad. I set it to open in WordPad, and so this is just some sort of, um, it's not even really descriptive uh, statistics. It's just a view of the matrix that uh, you can make. I'm going to minimize that, and then on once you you have to generate that file apparently, and then you go back to Tools and Univariate Statistics and open that up, and then we're going to search for the input data set is that um, Paget dot pound pound H. And then the output data set is this dash uni, paget dash uni. And we'll keep it at levels, layers, and matrices. And then I have all, I, I'm just ask it to compute all of these statistics and click OK. And then now it has computed the statistics that are shown in this WordPad file. So now we have the number of observations, missing data, minimums and maximums, the sums, um, standard deviations, and such as that. So that's the extent of the descriptive statistics that you get. But to, so I'll close that file or minimize that file. And then the next thing that we tried to do last night, so we did, I think we'd managed to do all of that last night, but we wanted to visualize the network. And then I don't remember this button, this graphy button being on the version that's in the, compu in the computer lab, the grad computer lab. But the instructions here say to click on the net draw button, which is this net draw button. And I just I have two screens, so it's opening in the other screen, and I have to keep minimizing all of this. So let me get this within the recording screen here. So this is the net draw button, and the next thing that I want to do is go to this um, button, the second one from the left and click Open a Usenet file, and the Usenet file that we want to open, I'll go, I'm do, using the sample data instead of the our actual data because I'm going to put this tutorial on uh, YouTube so y'all can see it easily. And I didn't want to use that um, data from one of our classes. So you, instead of using the paget.poundpoundh, you have to use the paget-uni which is the file that's generated when you run descriptive statistics. And we'll click Open, and there we go. We have um, a nice network visualized here. So I, I have no clue how to actually read any of this yet, 
but I do know that on the menu on the right hand side um, I did run um, on my computer the data from that third week online discussion and so people's names were showing up on here and I could turn off some of these uh, this other data and I could just see who was talking to whom in that data so I wanted to give you this little tutorial so um, whoever has a chance can go ahead and start uh, playing with that. So that's it for now. When I find out more, I guess I'll let y'all know and post a tutorial. Thanks.